So you're a parent, you've just bought your child a new iOS device. Now, whether that be an iPod Touch, which is what I have here, an iPhone or an iPad, there are things that you can do to keep your child the safest he or she can possibly be. Because no matter how good your child is about not doing bad things on their device, sometimes you really don't know when you might run into something bad. And you always... As parents, you want to have nothing but safety for your kids. So today, I'm going to show you how you can set restrictions on your child's iOS device. So what you're going to do is um, your child probably is go you're going to want to have a passcode. So you can see I have a passcode on mine. So this is what your child's passcode will be. Let me just put it in real quick so you don't see. So, um, but... This is going to be your own passcode, so don't tell your kids the following passcode. So here's how to set the restrictions. Go into the Settings app, and then we're going to scroll down until you see General. Go ahead and click on it. And then if we scroll down a little more, you'll see Restrictions. And if you haven't tampered with your child's device, it should say Off. So go ahead and click on the restrictions, and now you're going to hit Enable Restrictions. Now this is where you set your own passcode. Um, so don't tell your children this passcode. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it simple with 1111. And now that you've set this passcode, now you have access for to do lots of different things to this device. Let's say that I don't want my child to be able to FaceTime. Like, I don't want my child to be able to FaceTime his friends for to, to keep him the most safe as possible. Then I can just go ahead and take that off. Maybe I don't want him to have access to the camera application. Then I can take that off too. And I don't want my child to be able to um, download apps. So I don't want my child to be able to download apps. Or let's say um, I... Maybe I'm okay with him deleting apps, but let's say I don't. I definitely don't want him to be able to purchase things. I don't want him to be able to purchase things inside apps. I can go ahead and turn that off. Now down here we have some more content. You can um you can set what country you want the ratings for, and then um basically I don't exactly know what this is. I don't exactly know what explicit means, but these are for music, podcasts, and news. And then um for for movies. Maybe if you don't want your child to be able to see movies, then you can just go ahead and turn tur turn off don't do not allow movies. And then same thing with like TV shows and books and um explicit sexual content. You probably don't want your child to be able to have access to this, so you might probably want to turn that off. And then for apps, um there's just some settings for apps, settings for Siri, websites. Sorry guys, I had to cut it out for a second because I accidentally showed my um, password. But um, anyway, so now going into, or not my password, my um, Apple ID. I don't want you guys to be able to see that because then you'll be like sending me emails. Be like, Charlie, what's good, man? You want to do a, um, you want to do a um, collage? Not a collage. Collab. Duh. Anyway, like, you, you know, you get the point. There's lots of things you can do to set restrictions on your child's device. And um, maybe you don't want your child to be able to play multiplayer games with his friends. Well, then you can just go ahead and shut that off, and then it won't be allowed. So basically, now you've set the restrictions to your device. So now, if you go back to general and then go to restrictions, you'll need this passcode in order to access these restrictions once again. So that's the passcode you won't tell your child. And now, if I close out, you can see I no longer have the app store because I disabled that. And I no longer have the camera app anymore because I disabled that as well. So, and to prove that I don't have it, open App Store. I couldn't open App Store. Sorry about that. Open camera. I couldn't open camera. See, you get it. These apps have been disabled. But anyway, guys, you get the point. You can. There's lots of different restrictions you can set on your child's device. And then, of course, you, you should also get filters so that they're not able to, um, like, get into stuff. So then if I want to take this off, then I can just disable the restrictions. And now, all the stuff will be back as it was before. And as simple as that. So, um, I hope this was helpful to you guys being able to set some restrictions on your child's iOS device. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, as a parent, it's very important to keep your child safe on the internet and on their personal devices. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I will see you in the next one. Make sure to leave any ideas for videos down in the comments below. Peace out.